they just looked at each other. And I said, after 51 years, from the time that Uri Takalo Nadesma brought the Philippine artists to the Venice Finale in 1964, why have we not participated? It's an injustice to our curators and artists who are brilliant, even better than many in the world. And if a small country like the Maldives could be present in the Biennale, which I visited that year, why not the Philippines be there? At that time in 2013, six, six years ago, is I not correct? They said, because no one supported the government. I said, I am. And so my brain started rolling, my creative juices started coming out, and the only problem was funding. And since I was about to chair, no, that time I wasn't the chairman of the Committee on Finance, we had to make do with whatever funds were available. I'll cut a very, very long story short. And finally, after several tries, because I'm not a curator, I'm not even an artist, I'm a lawmaker, but the DFA, the NCCA, and my office, with a very, very small team of legislative staff, would you believe it's actually legislative and a lawmaker that started our comeback into the Venice Finale. Uh, 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 so, uh, so, like the drawing, drawing lang. So, I think I to a process. Yeah. Uh, uh, ng mga, mga images kung, kung saan -saan. Tapos mo abang, uh, Mag, uh, mag resonate sa sarili mong ano, biography. All of them. I don't know. Should I be proud? <laughs> what does your artwork aim to say? Parang... Uh, well, it says something to me. I, I, I don't plan it to. I don't plan to communicate to other people. Really. It's really I'm, I'm painting for myself. And if 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 it says something to. To, to the audience, and that's just coincidence. Mm. And what, what about your biggest influences? Oh, my biggest influences. Uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of art, a lot of dead white men.